All right, things have cooled down, both outside temperature and my temper. So I think maybe we can start tackling this project again. So let's get started. Welcome back. If you haven't seen my videos before, I'm Ross the Oliver Man. And as you may recall in a previous episode, I decided we would try to revive the little VAC case here and maybe even take it to the fair. However, sadness quickly ensued as we remembered that we had a bad starter button, which would not make contact at all. Pretty crusty. Now, I suppose I could spend forever taking that apart and making it go, but I'm not doing that. Plus, I had already bought this, which I thought would be great, you know? But then we tried to put it in from the backside, of course, and it won't go through there. So I tried some trickery, and it still didn't go. So today, I bought an expensive 30-some dollar one from the NAPA, and she goes right through so that's what we're going to use. Sadly, they did not have a cable. I had to order one. So what I'm thinking is, if it amounts to that the cable is what's keeping it from starting now, I'll just bypass it with jumper cables to get it to the fair, and then, you know. So, we're going to put this in. I hear a cow mooing in the background, which is nothing new. They like to continuously annoy me. So, see how this goes right in today, you know? And yesterday, it wouldn't. Now this clever one <laughs> is still not gonna go through the hole, but in a different way. But I think we're gonna live with it, you know? If there's a little bit of a space between there, Oh, well. Mind the gap, friends. It's fine. Now, the next question is, how much more annoying can those cows become? Well, no, that's not the question. The question is, can we get this mounted in there? We committed a sin with our switch there, but I don't think it works anyway. Our headlight switch. We got a little aggressive with it when we were trying to force that other thing in my jigger in there. So we're gonna have to address that at some point. However, not today. Because like I said, we are in final countdown mode here. We are going to just try whatever we can to get this little feller fired up and out there in the tractor row. Hopefully there will still be space for it next to my stuff. I uh, left some space, but I'm sure that by the time I get back there again, I probably won't have my spot. So. Okay, I'm not using my dipstick, Jimmy. I have the right size wrench right here. See? And we have screw heads on the outside. So in theory, we should be able to make this work. We're about to abandon the screw head theory though, because I am not, not very happy with this method. It's square headed bolts that you can't. Jeez. Well, I don't like that necessarily, but for now, we're gonna have to make this fly. Because like I said, we ain't got time. Time is not a luxury at this point. 
We do need to make a better wire though to send power to our ignition system because uh, this is junk. I mean, I don't know what I was thinking reusing that if I did in fact. Well, I know I had to reuse it because I swapped out something one time. That gauge is what I'm saying. Once again, it's the end of the day. So, you get what you get as far as me being coherent. We're just going to do the best we can. Okay. We will replace that cable at a later date. Because it is not very good. However, that's just the best we can do right now. I suppose that now would be a good time for me to go get a new wire. Let's not ruin our new gauge. Let's... Sure. What's all falling there? Our battery box is full of just all kinds of schmutz from that creature that was living in there. We're gonna have enough. Yeah, we're gonna have enough. This is our offender. We're gonna we're gonna go make a new one real quick. And then when we do that, I think we should be good to go. Uh, I did get this is the switch. If you ever need an ignition switch, I have found that this is about the only one that holds up to the vibration of a tractor so yeah so do with that information what you would like but i guess i could also show you this is the number of this starter button st6 but anyway i'm not saying uh, oh my gosh that's not very good what's happening here Okay, we're going to make us a couple new wires because I just discovered something else. Look at our wire to our coil. We don't need a butt connector. Let's just run. So, I got to go get supplies out of the truck. I'll be right back. Okay, I found a wad of white wire here, so we'll use that. This should be enough to do whatever we need. And what could possibly go wrong, you know? Everything always goes perfect for us. So what could what could possibly not work correctly? Okay. There. Oh, something on eBay must be coming to an end. My phone made a happy eBay sound. New items? Well, yes, please. New to me. Okay. Now, we're going to take this sucker there. I'm going to put this in there. I think this thing still has a generator. I can't remember. I'm pretty sure it does. Now, I'm going to take this little thing I've been doing there. That's got to go in there like such. It's got to be right in the way, you see. If it's not right in the way, are we really accomplishing anything? I think we're we're plugging away here. Okay. See, we can't get in there all the way correctly. We didn't bring our ratchet, so we're gonna put a screwdriver in an opening wrench and use it like a ratchet. There. 
Now, that gets to hang precariously in our way. What would be a nice way to route this? Well, there is none. See, when you make your wire too long, you're good to asking for it. I'm just not too smart. Have you noticed that? I just, if there's the right way to do something, I will do the wrong thing. It works that way in every aspect of my life. So at least I'm consistent. Now. Okay. Oh, there's one more thing I want to do before we go too far. I want to try to repent of my sin here and bend this back. But I think the damage is already done. For I have bent thine rod. It does not comfort me. I have, I have bent it beyond all recognition. Sadness has ensued. There. Now it might work again. Maybe. But we don't know that that actually works. Okay, what am I missing, folks? I need to put that switch in. So, it would probably be wise go ahead and mount the wires out here in the open and then put it in the dash you know for convenience sake do you know what that is we don't usually use a lot of that around here convenience so usually we use a healthy dose of failure why am I waiting till like the day that I need this to fix it, you know? I had 360 some days I could have been doing this. And I waited till today. All right, let's feed off camera. You can't see, that's good. We're gonna run our new ignition wire in here it's very possible that maybe the wire wasn't making a good connection and that's why it acted so goofy it just wouldn't no matter what i did i couldn't seem to get it to want to run nice and it used to so it's obviously something is just Decided it doesn't want to play nice, but we're going to try to make it whether it wants to or not. Well, awesome. I just launched the screw. That's cool. And it went not to the wide open grounds. No, 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 friend. Nope, it didn't do that. It went inside the belt pulley. It was a one in a million shot. I couldn't make it again if I tried. Well, I just tried, but I didn't make that shot again. Okay. Let's do something different, because that didn't work twice in a row. So, let's find a better -er way to do that. Jeez, that was a lot of work just to put in a simple screw. Now, take our knob loose, take our outer piece loose, check, uh oh no, don't play that kind of game with me now where you don't want to fit through the hole.
that's the kind of garbage that just makes you say cock a doodle doo. I think it'll go. I think it's just a matter of rust is not letting it play. Because, see, I don't like that. Let's get through there. If we're lucky, what's going to happen is I'm going to ruin the threads on the end of the switch, which I think I've done already. So, bonus points to me. Can it never just go like it's supposed to? I think we can salvage it as long as we don't play that hard. Let me go get a drill. Now, back to doing things the most difficult way possible. Oh, that won't even fit through there. Ain't that sweet? First try was a failure. Couldn't even do that right. Well, morale is slowly deteriorating, but at least it's not quite as hot as it was yesterday. least it'll rest now that's what we're after look at that like a new one man like I am some kind of professional man am I a genius or what sure yeah we can't even you're doing real good genius you can't even get the dang started on the thing on the outside oh poppycock don't want to talk about poppycock Come on. are you still there it's getting dark in here so take off your sunglasses. That's not where you thought I was going to go with that. Huh? Correct tools. No. We're going to use these wire pliers until we can't stand it anymore. Yeah, see what we've done here? We've created a situation in which I cannot get this tight any longer. And it's also brand new, so. This is a two-edged sword, though, because see, when you squeeze to tighten the nut, you, you're squeezing it down on the threads, making it harder to tighten. I think, though, we can fool it into submitting to us. Well, that's how we're rolling. There. Good. Boy, this is an easy 12-step process, isn't it? Next, we're going to change out here. Wonder why this wire got spliced. I don't remember doing that. It's entirely possible that that was already that way. But I could be an idiot. There has been proof that that has happened before. Okay, we're going to go about there. We've got 
every tool out again. That's just great. Simple, simple process here. Sure. All right. All right, so let's check our button work. Okay, our button is, in fact, not the total culprit, I don't think. Our intermittent button doesn't gain us anything without a battery cable. Although my battery could have went dead just now, too, but we'll find that out in a second. Next thing we're going to do, while well, we got the hood up, pour some gas in it. Ain't got no gas in it, see? And it'd be nicer to not make a mess all over the hood, if possible. When I could just go ahead and make a mess all over the motor, see? The part that gets hot and will cause explosion. Okay, let's say that that's enough. Let's have a gander over here. And see if our sediment bowl filled. If it did, it did. It did fill. It's got some drugs in the bottom of it, but it filled up. That kind of almost looks like water, don't it? We'll find out when it doesn't run. Okay, so we still have no go-go. Unless I'm... Nope. Our cable is fornicated. It has fornicated itself. So now, I've got to think. And that is very hard to do because I'm not that smart. I'm trying to decide what I'm doing next year. Next is I'm putting this cover back on. I don't know why I took that off, because I'm dumb. Let's see if it's got engine oil in it. It should have. That looks like an oil-based substance. 5% battery. Do you think you're going to get to see it run? Very unlikely. But we're going to try. Even if I have to drop what I'm doing. And go get another battery. Now, the pulley spins when you crank, so you got to use your wits about you here. What do we want to do here? Let's go like this. Let's go like this, and then like such. Almost. Come on. Come on. Okay, why did we get, we got one kerchief, and then nothing. Okay, well, you are going to get probably a new battery before this affair is done. Because I'm foreseeing that what's going to happen next is a little points replacement action. I don't think that these are going to sail. They just look very not gooder. Oh, what the heck. Let's see if that uh, if they're firing now. Come on. Oh. Easy dum dum. That dum dum is where I have to draw the line. Mechanics I can inspire. But personality is something you have to be born with. You're not too smart, are you? No, you're not. No, there's no go-go on that. Okay, we might as well swap out the set of points. And that means we've got to find the condenser that we got yesterday. 
which very well might be a problem. So I'll go get a battery and condenser. Okay, did you get it running while I was gone? No? Okay. I guess I'll do it then. Let's see what we can accomplish. This is kind of unhandy, but you know, what else is new? I don't think I got the right points. So we might not be able to do anything. Oh, the gas is overflowing now too. I see. So we just as well shut that off because she's flooded. So that's another issue for another day. Let's just shut her down. That's probably why it doesn't have any gas in it now. That just don't look right. That's because it's not. Okay, so what this means is we are fornicated on that. So I guess what we'll do is just keep cleaning and hoping we can get it, question mark. I mean, we're obviously very flooded now. Oh, friends. What a time to be alive. Why, comma, that looks like an Arby's roast beef sandwich. Okay, so... Let's get this going. <laughs> oh... I can't tell you the conversation that I'm having right now on my phone with Lozy, no less. So, <laughs> oh, friends, there's not enough cockadoodle-doos in the world to <laughs> keep us out of Facebook jail. <laughs> <laughs> oh, baloney. So stupid. <laughs> I'm thinking Arby's. <laughs> is that clean? My next question is, what kind of distributor is this? Is it a case distributor? Is that why it, the points don't... Maybe every time I've tried to replace the points, I ran into this issue. That's entirely possible. <sighs> we'll get her. We'll get her. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Let's just go for broke. Let's just cover that up. It can't hurt us anymore. If you can't see it, it can't hurt you. Let's put this in. <laughs> We've been burned by that before. Gotta have all the pieces to make them go. That hooked in there. This distributor and I are just not that great of friends. I should have probably kept one off of one of the parts tractors that I accumulated to fix this. Okay, can we? No. Remember, now it's super duper flooded. Our battery isn't gonna hold out. Oh, that's baloney. Yeah, I'm over it too. I know what you mean. What would be our next course of action here? I don't really foresee any good one. Uh, like I said, it smells pretty darn flooded. Now, could I take this off without 
Because this is kind of a problem. Let's see. To get. It's just no, this is terrible design too. You know? Oh, the tires are flat, so that won't come off. Okay. Huh. What are we going to do? That's not tight. That'll let her out. I'm sure that was rebuilt back when I messed with it last time. So we don't have any battery now. Although that might come around after it sits a minute. Will you run for daddy? No? No. Nope. Okay. Plan X. What is plan X? Well, that's going to be leaving it sit and not even worrying about it. That's pretty well where we're at with that one. I had a flathead screwdriver laying here, and that's gone, apparently. So that's nice, because I could really use that right now to do something. Like stab myself through the eye, because nothing is going my way. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love this game. Oh, I know where it is. Dum Dum. You had that coming, Dum Dum, for acting like such a knucklehead. I am stupid. I wedged it in that hose. That's why. It was in my hand a minute ago. Not now. While we're waiting, let's air up the front tire. That seems like an appropriate waste of time. I think it's a sign that this tractor is not going to the fair. Oh, that leaks. That's cool. Okay, so science is happening. You can't see it, but I'm here to tell you it's taking place, my friends. See, my battery doesn't have enough juice to do everything. But I got another dead battery on the ground. And I'm thinking that dead battery is going to be what cranks our engine. And the battery under the hood is going to be what runs our points. With all the luck, this will explode into a fireball. Thus, ending my suffering once and for all. This, though, is why it's not good to leave tractor sit. Because this thing, it's fine. It just needs to be kept up and running. So, what are we going to do here? Well, I'm not sure. I think you were probably just to say where you were. We are going to turn the gas slightly back on. Hello. <laughs> Tacos for lunch, see? Alright. Uh, okay, that one will do it. Here we go. Okay, so. What did we learn? We learned that it runs wide open. But why was that? I guess when I put it in the shed and it almost killed me, that's what happened. Keep running. Keep running, you bruh. Why are why are you not running? Do we know? Do we know why? Is our carburetor flooding? We're doing great. that that took to get going. It's not really running that bad. I say as it starts running work. Well. The 
thing is, if we take this to the fair, we're going to have to take that other battery to start it, because this cable's bad. Alright, let's continue bad decisions. We'll clean this off. We'll take it up to where the hose is. See if we can wash it off. And if it's still running when we're done, then we might load it on the trailer. All right, Casey. Let's see what happens. That's what it did last time. Okay. I think it doesn't want to go. But it did run. We can try to start it one more time. But I think that I've pretty well had my fill of taking stuff. I'm trying not to get off of here and hurt myself. There's a lot where if one leg went here and one leg went here, I don't think I need to explain that anymore, how that would not be the way to get off. So, yeah. There's an old set of points. Hmm. Well, I shouldn't have pushed the choke in. I got greedy. Well, typical. Camera got too hot. Shut off. I'm really getting annoyed with that. I mean, it's hot, but I have to keep going. So show should you. So should you go, bro. I can't even speak anymore. I had to get off the... I'm having a real trouble holding on to the earth. And so I guess it's transferring to you. I had to get off the bucket and sit on the ground because I'm... I wasn't able to stay where I wanted to be. But good news is we're going back together now. I didn't find anything super duper out of the ordinary in here. I'm hoping that all is right with the world now. What we're gonna have to do here is simply uh, what? Well, we need to connect our fuel line, for one. Can we do that? Let's turn the gas back on. We'll do it just like those old classic tractor calendar videos. First, we will turn the gas on. Next, we will go around to the other side of the tractor. We will check and make sure it is in neutral. We will go about half throttle. We will turn the ignition on. We will take the homemade starter and we will hook it back to the battery. We will put that on here. We will fire away. Nothing. Why? Why? Why do you hate me? Why will you not run? See, what it's going to do is wait till we get right in the middle of the driveway, and then it'll die. I can back the choke off a little now. Second gear.
shutting it off, that's for sure. But it is a runner. You wanted to see it run, and I got it that far for you. We got to do some improvements on it, though, to make it run better. So I'm going to have to order the right kind of points. I think that's the next place I'm headed because this is pretty pathetic. And, uh, yeah, that's what I would say is its biggest issue. Just uh, those points didn't look very good to me. But whatever. It's a runner. I'm going to wash it up. If it's still running when I'm done, I'll load it on the trailer and take it over there. So, as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Yeah.